Hey Matt, you want to break the internet? <clears throat> There's probably a hundred of these in a junkyard somewhere in the ground. Like just it didn't splintered. Some dad was all upset that you know it's too heavy to move. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, probably just threw know, it away but. himself. I am folding these back up so they don't get destroyed. And they stay nice. I'm went. I, I might have brought more than I ever could have put out. You know what I mean? I'm known for that. Sealed. Well, was sealed. I'm gonna leave this right here until I figure out if I need it for outside, because that's pretty maxed out. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oof. Something about bringing 80s toys, I don't know. As we were leaving, so much new stuff was coming to the shop. So I got a Centennial box, I'm like, well that worked out. And then all my new classifieds showed up. So, we'll see. It'll be nice. I'll go get the uh, the glass cabinet. Yeah, you go get that glass cabinet. Yeah. yeah. That's a big one. I think I saw you guys on YouTube. So. <laughs> yeah, I had to, I filmed with that news lady and it was live. I'm like, oh, glad I ain't cursed. You go for that. She's like, you good talking to the camera? I've done that before. You haven't seen my OnlyFans? She's like, um, can we get talking about the, the toy shop? And I was like, you gotta find out that is all his <laughs> idea. Gotta get his credit where credit's to that. It's not me. Alright, I'll be right back. Got my cheat sheet going on, dude. So we preset all this up before we come out. So I'm in my hallway. And that's the so we already got the Simpsons, the Dragon Ball. And then, I mean, it's just every setup for how we do each section. Just makes it easier on us. Makes it so much easier. Sorry. Might be your section. I don't see it. Unless, yeah, it's right there. Hey now. Yeah, so we've got uh, flyers made and everything, so tonight, I'll be doing it from, what is it, 5.30, 8.30? No, 8.30 to 10.30. 8.30, 10.30. And then tomorrow after 6 the 30 show, 6.30, 8.30. And then I'm going to do a live sale out of here. Just make it fun. But I just wanted to do something different, man. Like, you're already so far away from home. You get the hours for the show, and that's your time limit for making an income. So just change it a little bit. Did we? Did you grab a Pixel Dan figure? I don't think we did. We we're going to no. have to be funny and hang one of them. And Forgot about it. Pretty cool. That is all clay. Wow. The effects, even on the groundwork, is insane. Like, that's. Fuck, that's gnarly. Are you gonna make it like blood pump somehow or something? Like, what? I think that's the plan. Okay. Has Pixel seen this? No, no, no. no I, I won't. But yeah, yep. The, we we gotta do a thing, but, but yeah, he's he's gonna definitely see this. That's incredible. Did you make them? Yep. Incredible, dude. That's that's art to the fullest. Like that's so. Oh yeah. That's fun. That's so different. That's so. Different. I love it. Ready? In the parking lot? Yeah, yeah, we got that. Mobile two store. I gotta tell everybody, man. I gotta yeah. I'm on it. We'll be out there after. My boss is aggressive. I keep getting hit when no one's looking at me. Like, that's why we're gonna wear long pants through the bruises. Almost at the roof. 
<laughs> Any questions, guys? I'm happy to help. Keep in mind, we do have the outdoor toy shop tonight. 8 30, 10 30. <laughs> Need a flyer? I got it. If it doesn't blow your mind. Can't miss it with the big yeah, it's got a 12 foot attorney outside. Yep. May or may not be having a cornhole tournament, but it's not fun when you're all the time. <laughs> gotta keep, you know what I mean? Gotta keep my, my, my stats up. Any new ones? Uh, two loose ones. Yep. Oh, two loose ones. And then I sold the Defiant and I sold the Care Drum. I wanted to say Cobra Command Center. That I is not the name. Case. Did you? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Got a Mickey Mouse or not? Three Mickeys. Three Mickeys. All three, three of them are Mickey. Mickey. Six eighty apiece. Six eighty apiece. First one it gets is going to get that acrylic case with that one. I wish I had one. I love that. It just looks it nice. Looks I'm all about long as it's got a tight over it. Right? Yeah, man. Long as it's got a half over it. Yep. I just got here. I'm shopping away. Yep. That's a good place. Yeah, man. Well, keep in mind, too, man, we have a mobile toy shop outside tonight. Right, boy. You want a flyer? Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell you. Yep. Thank you can't you. miss it. It's got a 12-foot attorney outside. Thank you, man. And that's signed as well. Yeah. Just had him in our shop. He was the nicest freaking guy in the whole world. Yeah, I met him down in Raleigh, North Carolina. He was autographing the, the uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Yep. He brought his own with him. Yeah. 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 All right, boys. Come back to see you. Thank later. you, guys. Thank you, man. Enjoy your day. Ninja Frog. So, I got it signed. He's like, you're really going to wear it? I was like, yeah, buddy. Hey, Matt, you want to break the internet? <clears throat> 3K. We're opening Yeah, he's it. opening all his mocks and stuff. 3K? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> that is a good Chewbacca, though. I practice. Sounds, sounds like Nikki and Heat. <laughs> Yeah, Chewbacca. Uh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. So, All right. Here you are, brother. Finally. I appreciate it. So, got everything for this. I put the computers inside okay. so I didn't lose it. And then we've got our little box on the front. We've got the fire bat and yeah, that's pilot. Got your blueprint. And then I. Even though you're taking it, I didn't want these to get broken, so okay. wrapped everything. Awesome, awesome, thank you. Made sure I put a nice one in. He's just got that one little mark, but yeah. I mean, that's not. The emblem's clean, so yeah. It's got to shoot in case okay. it goes oh. south. Right, gotta, right. You know? In case the fire back catches fire. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sit Let that you little put guy him in, in there. there. And then, yeah, man, you've got. 100% complete, unbroken. All right, nice, nice. All your doors, and so that's what I was talking about. We're like, it's slimmer that way. Okay. So when you put it so on, it slides you in. be very careful. Okay. I'm too scared to break it. No, <laughs> I am too. So. And then, 100% complete, defiant with both pilots and driver inside the crawl. I mean, that's now the pilots are, are they sealed or one no, of them? I think I think one of them was sealed, wasn't it? I don't know. I haven't opened this in surface, so <laughs> can't remember. But it's a, uh, it's crazy. It's the first one I've ever had in the shop, and I didn't only had it in my hand for 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, it's the first one I've ever owned either. So yeah, we but were each other's first. It'd be as watch, far as when, you, when you set this up and you are like moving it around. Just the moving the rockets around would be extremely difficult for any kid. Like there, I w there's probably a hundred of these in a junkyard somewhere in the ground. Like just it didn't splintered. Some dad was all upset that you know it's too heavy to move. <laughs> yeah, well, probably just threw know, it away himself. But, didn't get it cleaned up. Yeah. Yeah, so. no, absolutely. Well, this thank you awesome. really so much, man. Thank you. It was a pleasure. I actually had very few Joe vehicles. I mean, we had some of the basic, but nothing real big. Um, I had the Crusader, which is the other spaceship, and I think my brother had the Phantom Jet, those the Stealth Jet. Those were the two biggest Joe vehicles we had. But no, no bases, no play sets like this. So these are definitely a first. At Joe Fest, I picked up a 100% uh, complete flag from Alan. Um, 
had the box and the shipper. Uh, and that was my main one I wanted to get for Joe's. And then I was just like, well, I guess the Defiance next. That's so, you know, they're just statement pieces. And uh, he made a deal at Joe Fest and got this. And he messaged me immediately and said, hey, are you interested? We talked about it for a few minutes. I was like, yeah, let's go ahead. Both knew he was coming back here to Retro. So um, I paid it off over a couple months and uh, he brought it to me. The Terradrome he got this week, I think. He, he bought a collection this week and posted it, saying it was clean. And I haven't found one 100% complete and unbroken. Um, they always have tabs broken here and there. So I was like, all right, that was the next one I wanted anyway. So I was like, all right, Alan, bring it with you. You know, we'll talk about it, you know, because he didn't even know how much he wanted for it. So we talked about it uh, Thursday night or and yesterday, whenever he got here, and we made a deal before the show even started. So, um, I'd say these are the three biggest pieces in the Joes. Um, definitely the biggest pieces in my collection. Um, I've been looking for for them over for a couple years, um, trying to see, learn what I could about them, and s check the market and learn the problems and everything. And so. Alan got amazing pieces like he usually does um, and can't beat his customer service. I know he knows what he's talking about. He's been 100% straight up and honest on any defaults on anything. Um, I've talked with him about a bunch of different things and he's always been honest. Hey, you're not going to be happy with it due to this or this. I know how you collect. So um, he, he definitely, you know. I'm happy with him, so he definitely knows what I'm wanting. And uh, so when I get my setup set up, these are going to be centerpieces and um, all thanks to Attorney of Dreams. So I, I can't can't complain. I, get the, I do direct eye contact when I butt grab now, so I don't mess up and grab someone else anymore. That's what good. What are you planning on doing with your room? So I want to set up a full diorama. Yeah. Um, I haven't figured out exactly how the Defiant's going to fit into it, <laughs> but on one side of the room, I want to do a land battle scene. Um, I have a headquarters, so have that. I'm going to get the new Super 7 uh, mothership, and I'm going to have that kind of coming over the hills, attacking the Joe base, yeah. and then have a bunch of vehicles and everyone defending and just a big land battle. I think it'll look really cool. So that's for that, and I've... I've I've seen someone do that, and yeah, I was like, absolutely. I want to do that. Yeah. And on the other side of the room, I'm going to, with the flag, I've already spoken. My brother's very handy, so he's going to make me a table for it specifically. We'll do resin on the top to make it look like it's in the water. Yeah. And I want the pterodrome to look like it's coming up out of the water, like it's a, yeah. just the tip of an underwater yeah. base, and then have all the guns and everything on this, and then have the flag attacking. The, this I have a tactical battle platform yeah, I got yeah, from y'all yeah. on the yeah. live sale, so I have that staged out there. But I'm gonna have whales coming off the That's awesome. um, whales, the double fish, yeah. you know, everything. Have I've bought? I got a fleet of rattlers now, so I'm gonna have them <laughs> suspended from the ceiling. Have some uh, sky strikers taken off from the deck of the flag, and maybe even airborne, and just. That's the dream. Just have a huge, yeah. as you walk in the wall, in the room, it's just, uh, you're immediately in the middle of a huge battle. Yeah. So, um, that, and that's what I'm saying. These will definitely be centerpieces. Yeah. So, I mean, I, it wouldn't be possible to do that without these pieces. <laughs>